What's up? I hope you're well. So today I'm going to show you how to record your song from the style assuming you have already made a style. If you don't know how to do that, uh, there's a video on that. Uh, check it out. It's uh, titled how to make a beat. Now, once you've made your style, you want to convert it into a song so that it can play through for four minutes or any desired amount of time. So this is what you do. Select your style and ensure the accompaniment is on. Okay. Select the sections which you want to start with. Remember the song, when it's recording, it will record the activity. If you press main B while it's recording, it will record all the activity and it will convert that into a song. Okay? So press the record button, hold it down and press button 1 through 9. This is to instruct uh, the recording uh, section to record whatever you had made. And in this case, rhythm 1, rhythm 2, Remember, hold the record, bass, chord 1, chord 2, pad, phrase 1, and phrase 2, okay? Now, once you start playing, it will record all the activities until the end, and then you'll have your song, and I will show you how to save it. So, in this case, ensure that the sync start is on. You can press the sync start, and you start playing the chord, or you can start by the using the start button. It will be up upon you. So the code which you're going to play by default for uh, in uh, most PSR keyboards is C major seven, comprising of the notes C, E, G, and B. You can change that in the settings as you advance in your skills. Okay. Okay, now all the activities have been recorded into a song. What you need to do is you need to save the song because what it says here is the recorded song will be lost if you change to another song or you turn the power off without executing the save operation. Now it's saved and a new song, but it has to be saved either in the keyboard or in the USB flash disk which you will have plugged into your keyboard. Okay, so I need to save it. Now, I will click uh, the button A and uh, user USB. Uh, let me save it uh, in my USB. So, menu one, okay, menu one, and I'll click save. It's new song. So, let me give it a new name like uh, Nishimus. M I C. H I E M U Z. Let me choose an icon that I want. Any icon? Yeah. Okay, urban style, eh? dance pop. Okay. Uh, anything, headphones. Okay. And then press OK. So whether the power goes on, goes off, or anything happens, your keyboard as the song and you have saved it in the user style. You can still go back and save it uh, under user. Once you just click there, you just click save, it will save itself like that. Eh? Okay. Now your song is there. Okay. Uh, it's there. Now 
if you want to convert it into a WAV file, remember this is MIDI, and MIDI are just instructions. If you save it like that and you play it in another keyboard, it will sound different, depending on what instruments or sounds the keyboard has, the voices. The Yamaha keyboards are called the sounds you hear voices. So, every, uh, every keyboard sounds different. So if you want to sound the song to sound exactly the same, you'll have to save it like a WAV file so that it can play on a computer or in uh, any other device. This is what you do. You'll have to record it again, but under USB so that it saves as a WAV file. So let me show you how to do it. Eh? You'll press the USB audio player, you'll press the record button, and you'll press play. Now it's armed to record, it's starting to record, so you'll have to play the song through. Now it's recording it as a WAV file. Now this one has a limit of 80 minutes per song, because uh, not many songs go that long. The standard time is 4 minutes. Okay, so let it record through. Okay, once it's uh, finished playing, you can stop the recording now, okay? Now, it is, this, one, uh, this section automatically saves a file into the flash drive, so whether the power goes, on, goes off, it will still uh, be there. But you can still go ahead and rename it because it has been saved as a WAV file. So you'll hit the H button, button H, and that's the file there it will already have been highlighted because there are several files. So you just click uh, button 8, menu 1, and you say name, that is button 1. It says select a file or folder. It was, it was already selected, so click OK and rename it. M, I, C, H, I, E, M, U, Z. Okay, you can select an icon like the first one, but this icon won't be read in some devices. So I think I selected headphones or something. I can't see them. So any icon can, can suffice. Okay, any icon, any icon. Okay. Now, there's your song as a WAV file now. Once you remove your flash drive, it can play exactly the way it sounds on this particular keyboard. So there you go. Thank you for your time. If you have any question or comment, let me know in the comment section below.